Okay, shalom everybody. Here is a lesson about mirroring. So let's say you have half of your character done, or we'll just go ahead and break this out. It can be any object. It doesn't have to be uh, something that is, is a specific kind of object. Man, this is very odd that this is drawing a line like this today. Okay, so any object. So first thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that the pivot point is in the exact center of the object. So now how do you do that? Like, let's say, for example, you were working and, you know, your pivot point is over here, right? So really the first thing that you want to do is get this pivot point where you need it to go. But you've got to make sure that your geometry is on the line. So, for example, let's say your guy's over here and you want to mirror it exactly on the other side. The best way really to do it is just to zoom in and make sure that your uh, your geometry line, your vertices are going to hit this line. Now, how can we do that quickly? You can basically hit one on the keyboard and go to edit poly mode and you can select every single vertex that's on the line that you need it to be on. All right. This is an efficiency thing. All right. Every single line or every single vertex. Okay. And I believe what you want to press is this X button over here, make planar. And that's going to make it super straight up and down. And the next thing that you want to do is right click on the move tool and send it. See how it's not on zero. It's close to zero, but it's not on zero. So I'm just going to right click on this elevator. And these vertices are all going to be one in super straight line all the way down the center from the top of his head basically to his crotch there. So once I have that down, now we can move the pivot to the center of the character. Now I don't mean like if I do affect pivot only, okay, uh, I sh should back up a little bit. Create panel, modify panel, hierarchy. Create panel creates things, modify panel modifies the thing that you've created. And the hierarchy really has to deal with the pivot point. So if we go to affect pivot only, right click on the move tool, and we can actually zero out the pivot point. Now, if you just want to do it on X, technically it would work. But, you know, typically when we create video games, we make sure everything's at the origin anyways. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hit the mirror button right here. And it's going to ask us, what axis do we want to mirror this character on? So seeing as it was over here, like where did our original go? Well, currently this option is set to no clone, so we have to set it to copy. And what will happen is, is now it will mirror over to the other side. Now there is more than one way to do a mirror, okay? I'll show you a different way in a little bit, but this is the safe way for me. I, I like safety because I have control here. Now, let's say I needed to mirror over a hand or a sword and I just want to do some geometry to make it somewhat symmetrical, but I still wanted these two separate pieces. I can make it an instance. Okay. We'll get into a copy instance reference in another video, but for right now, let's just make it a copy and let's stay on task. So if I get it, okay. Okay. So right now, I actually have two separate pieces of geometry. Now, if I actually put an edit poly on top of this, I need you guys to understand something. If I go over here and select these normals, it appears that these normals are facing the correct direction, right? And what do I mean by that? Typically, if a normal was facing the incorrect direction, one side would be bright and the other side would be dark. So let me see if I can actually cheat this a little bit and demonstrate what I'm talking about here. Nah, okay. I tried. So I'll do that for a second. But what we're going to do next is once we have our mirrored copy, the best thing to do is come over here to this utilities. So we have create, modify, hierarchy. We're going to skip motion. We're going to skip display and we're going to go to utilities. We're going to hit uh, create, I'm sorry, reset X form here. Reset, reset. And we'll see, look what it did. It flipped our normals and it's, it, it basically screwed our geometry up. Now I would advise mirroring this over and resetting your normals before you attach it. 
So now what I'm going to do, and this is what I was trying to demonstrate just a moment ago. If I put an edit poly on this thing, and I show you my normal, see how one side's bright red and the other side's dark red? That means these normals have been inverted. So if you just select the element tool, select it like this. Now you have to get the ear too, all right? And we hit flip. Now our normals are facing the correct direction. The uh, next thing that we want to do is convert them both to an edible mesh. And then we want to take our original side and attach over here like this. Now, although the character is now one mesh, it's not stitched up. So if I hit F4 and turn this off, you're going to notice that there's this crazy seam going all the way down our dude, all the way around the whole thing. And we don't want that seam there. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the border tool and we're going to highlight both sides. Remember, you've got this side to deal with and you've got the other side to deal with. So we're going to select both borders, right click, and right over here, it says convert to vertex. So that means every single edge that's selected currently, it's gonna jump and convert the selection to a vertex selection, just like this. And just like we did in the previous lesson regarding the welding. Okay, ooh, we got a, we got a damaged area over here. Oh, and I know why that happened. This happened because I, uh, in the original selection, remember when I was doing the, um, the uh, make planer on the x-axis, x it actually uh, screwed up our, our bridge over here. So you got to be careful with your selection. But this is a good lesson, a mini lesson within the lesson of the mirroring. So you want to be careful. So now how do, we, how do we set this back up? Well, you can kind of eyeball it a little bit. So you take this one, this vertex and this one, and you take the y-axis and you just line them up. Just zoom in, get up all close in that thing. And there we go. So now it's balanced on both sides. Same kind of thing over here. Now, what you'll have to do is you'll have to move and let go and move and let go and move and let go. Because while, if you're trying to move it, see how the, the, um, the gizmo doesn't update? So you'll have to move it, let go, and let the pivot point kind of re uh, reset. And just a little bit of wiggling action over here. I should get them closer. I do recommend trying to get as close as you can. There we go, that'll work. Let's just zoom all the way out. And that'll work. So let's go back to our border tool, okay? And then convert to vertex again. And just take a look, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the weld like we did yesterday. So we hit the weld button, the weld options, right? And currently if we weld, we have 2,972 vertices for the whole character, and after we weld, it says 2,888. But that's on this point zero, or point, 0 0.1 centimeter threshold. So I'm gonna kill it, make it zero, and I'm gonna do 0 0.001 centimeters. And it's gonna basically give me uh, six vertex back, vertices back. They were, they were, the threshold was too close. So let's do this one and hit okay. And so now, if we go to our border tool, the only border that we should have is the one in the mouth. Oh, and, the, and of course the ones in the ears too, because those aren't attached. But if we try selecting the rest of the body, we don't get a border. So that means we actually mirrored it over correctly. Okay, so just to recap, let's just go ahead and use a, we'll just use a box as a simple piece of geometry here. Okay, we'll split it in half. And we'll come over here and convert it out. Okay, so just to let you guys know, when I created this ob object, the pivot point was in the center. Now, we have to deal with it being offset. But this is just a recap. So, select your object, move it over to 000, zero, zero. okay? Oh, see, that's interesting. It's, it's, it's actually, we got a little bug action going on over here. See? These lessons happen. I'm glad I had you guys check. So, let's try, let's try that again. Let's do center center pivot, okay? So we have our object. We're gonna move it over to the x-axis, but we don't want it in the center. We want it off over here. So with that said, right click and convert to edible poly, or you can add a edit poly modifier on it. Either way, this is the first time I'm introducing this um, technique, okay? You can select your border tool, right click, or just uh, select the open border, and then hit make planar on X. 
Then what you want to do is um, move it over here. Uh, right click on your move tool and then uh, right click on your elevator and it'll snap it right down the middle. So if I go to my front viewport, you can see that the axis right here is everything's all nice and symmetrical. The next thing that I want to do is I want to move my pivot over here. Zero, zero, zero. So I do effect pivot only. And then I do right click, right click, right click. And this box again, right click on the move tool. This opens up, right click on the elevator on each one and it sends it to zero, 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 which is the origin. Okay, and I'm gonna mirror it over. And there we go. I'm gonna make it as a copy. I hit okay. Then I'm gonna reset the X form. Okay, how else do you know that the that the X form was reset? Well, if you come back over here to your modify panel, the X form modifier will be on here. And it's reset everything for me. Right click, convert to edible poly, select our, our new element and flip the normals. Now you can also use this polygon button. You can select all of it, but I, I typically don't re recommend this. I use the element tool because it guarantees that everything is selected. Because what if this ignore back facing button was pressed and I have this on and I select like this? Well, look, I missed all of these polygons. Okay, so let's check that off. Use our element like this. Okay, it was flipped, so we're going to convert it to a poly. We're going to take our original object attach this one to it. We're going to take our border tool, right click, convert to vertex. Then we're going to use our weld tool. And we're going to do, instead of the default, we're going to do 0 0.001. Okay. And then hit the checkbox. Now our object is all sealed up. Now I also do recommend that once you seal everything up, just reset the X form one more time. Okay. Just come back over here to the utilities tool, press reset selected, you get your modifier, the X form, and right click and X and uh and uh convert back to an edible poly. So if we go back and check our guy out, I don't think I put a reset X form on him again, but guess just get in that habit of resetting it once you're done. Okay? So as an efficiency thing too, if you're over here in the utilities panel, you can hit reset selected and just right click and convert to edible poly and then it'll do it for you. It'll just actually jump windows. It'll leave the utilities panel, go to the modifier panel. You won't see the uh, reset X form because you basically deleted the history and that's what the convert to edible poly does is it deletes your stack of history. And that is how you mirror something over. Shalom, shalom.